It's always been the same size and we've always had the same issues with it not continuing in the summer because it's reliant on students. So one so. thing we need to say, and I'd be happy to meet with it's you too, to think sorry. about the educational, how to educate the campus so that all forms of recycling are... Right, well and that's our, our job and we do that, but no matter how many forms of communication you put out there, people don't see it. Right. So and every and what, about, the same. Yeah. what about that yeah. video that you're supposed to see, with a, you know, when you're enrolled at the university, you're supposed to see this video. And if you don't watch it, you can enroll, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's very, it I, under, I know what you're saying. Yeah. It's very hard to get to let them, orientation and the administration, to deem you important enough to get in that video. Right. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to be in that video. Every department thinks they're important. <laughs> Everyone wants to be. So that's kind of where, right. you know, like even when you go to orientation and certain departments get to have a five-minute spiel, mm -hmm. it is very hard to get that spot. You have to work years and years and years in be seen as important enough to get that spot because everyone's fighting for those spots. Oh, so it's understand. kind of like that. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Um, but we're talking about reducing methane. Right. So we the, I, the I know planet that's, can that's continue. important you're to me. To the that's, that's important to, to me. Fire. That's important to you, but it's not <laughs> important to everyone. That's for sure. It, it is. To, they just don't know it. And when you put that in perspective with mm -hmm. students trying to find housing, trying to pay tuition, they think classes are too expensive, they can't find anywhere to park, it keeps getting bumped down and down. Yeah. You know, So you kind of got to put it in perspective of everything that's going on. It is really important. It's really important to them for our future, for not just FIU, but for everyone. But, it, yes. you know, they don't see that. Right. So let, let me wind up what I have to say with what I generally wind up with when I go to schools, universities, businesses and make my conservation speech. I tell them that in my humble opinion, we have three major problems to address in our climate change and in our environmental problems. Number one is ignorance. Many of us didn't know any better. Number two is complacency. Some people say somebody ought to do something about that, but they don't understand that they're part of that somebody and they don't want to get involved. So that's complacency. And the third is greed. Some of us wanted to make a lot of money regardless of the consequences. And the consequences are going to affect all of us. Our grandchildren. And they are not something we should put on the backs of our children and grandchildren. We created the problem, we must solve it. Right. There's some ethical responsibilities that go with businesses that are creating these um, well, gases. Sure. And, you know, and, and look, look how far we've come. In the, in, the, in the late 50s, the Hudson River was on fire. Right. And we have fixed so many things. Right. So this is not unsurmountable. Right. I mean, we'll, we got to start somewhere. Right. But I mean, we used to catch rivers on fire. We did such a bad job. And we're learning and learning and learning more and more about how we can do things and make it work for everybody. And so I think I'm encouraged by that. Right. You know, mm -hmm. that, that uh, you know, the Hudson River caught on fire. <laughs> Does anybody have any additional recommend recommendations or comments? So there, this is my, I just mentioned my student, Joshua. Beekman, who's okay. here, and he's helping with the blog. So, Great. if you're videotaping any of this, is it okay if we were to put a little bit of this meeting on sure. the blog and just okay? That that's all great. this is for. Yeah. And then he's here because um, they agreed to be interviewed by sure. um, Jose and Josh after this meeting for, for a little. All right. So, so then um, we're going to set so a date. For, so, um, set a date for another meeting. Let me just also mention, I, in the middle of, of arranging all this, I am going to be at Harvard next year. I have a fellowship to be at a, an ethics uh, think tank where we'll be thinking about some of these things, but I will be here uh, virtually. I mean, I can always be available through email and through Skype, and so I'm gonna try to keep this going at a distance um, and uh, you know, just continuing to work with all of you. But if we have another meeting, depending on when the meeting is, I may already be up in Boston. Um, but I can, you know, if someone's willing to Skype me. I can be your contact. You can be my, way. right, so okay, good. No so I can always be Skyped into okay. a meeting, but I want to keep this going. And when I come back from Harvard, I want to really start, you know, doing, be, being part of the efforts here to make our campus What will the summer session be like here at the university? Will it be so ongoing? 
Well, the, uh, there, usually there's the three different uh, sessions, basically. One that lasts about 14 weeks that goes the entire summer. For courses, you mean, my course actually ends in two weeks. So we have two half sessions and then one full session. So the course that my students are in, but we're gonna, this is why we started this blog, uh, so we can keep the blog going and get more students interested and get more students at FIU. Yeah, like, like my class are already ended, but I'm just here because I'm very interested in this, and I don't mind. I could tell that from our mind. community. <laughs> That's why right. I suggest you should contact. And we yeah. want to get students like this to write for the blog, to start to inform and teach other students. I mean, you guys are the best people to do it because you understand the science well, and the important. I think that if we can get enough support from the students and faculty and departments to tell the President's Sustainability Committee that something is good, I don't know if it's this or whatever else it might be, and have the President involved in helping to make a decision, there might be a possibility of getting this done within the next year or two. Right. I'm 91 years old, and I'd like to see this happen <laughs> before I go. <laughs> so, so while they're getting the students more involved, like I see this all the time on the campus, like, oh, if you want to see change, you need to vote for this and that, or sign here, or whatever it is. But yeah. I mean, to help you, you said what they need to see is numbers. What are they saving? Mm -hmm. Like if the cost is offset by the land tipping fee, mm -hmm. or if the grounds are willing to use this fertilizer, yes. and what they purchase is offset. I mean, it's offset by what they purchase. All right. Yeah. yeah, we need numbers. Yeah, that's a So big. would it help when your committee meets to discuss this, or the Sustainability Committee meet, to have some of us there? And would we be able to request a meeting with them? Possibly. Maybe that's the next meeting we need to have, which is, <coughs> we just go to this, you know, Yeah, I mean, I'm going to talk to the chair, and okay. I'll give him all these ideas and see what he thinks is okay. best, and see if, like, maybe he wants a full packet handed to them before, or if they just want to have an open discussion, or, you know, how he Who's wants... Who's the chair? That, that's... Tom Hartley, and also Amy Martinez. Okay. And um, there are also two faculty from the agroecology program, by the way, who were out of town today, yes. but they're interested as well. Uh, and maybe... Um, well, we've had talks like this at the University of Miami, and they actually have the incoming freshmen have a questionnaire to figure out. And last year, the number one thing that the new freshmen wanted was recycling and composting. And so, whether Once they're going to listen or not. people understand but, the <laughs> problem and what this kind of food waste recycling can do, you know, in terms of reducing, you know, methane and carbon emissions, reduce, you know, uh, you know reducing the waste stream we're putting into land. And the and truck traffic and the emissions from the car. car right. I mean, there's, there's so many there's things so many involved. things, and then you get this compost that's good to use, and, and, and you know, it, it also helps with fresh water, you know, the uh, shortages, so, and protecting our fresh water. So there's so many benefits to this. I think once people understand why food waste recycling is important, they may, you know, they hopefully buy into it. I think people have now come to understand why recycling plastics and you know, metal and glass is, re is important. Some people do understand it better than others, but I think people, uh, ordinary citizens, and certainly students um, are smart enough uh, to understand the importance of it. People will, you know, uh, I think be interested and will cooperate. Um, but it takes, you know, a lot of talking to the right parties on mm -hmm. campus and then, um, planning and budgeting. There's some budgeting issues here that have to be done. And so, as you said, I mean, I'm glad you realized this could take two years, you know, to get somewhere until we're finally, you know, hopefully able to. Implement. I was talking to, if any of you remember, Dr. Jack Parker, who yes, used, yes, he's retired, yeah. but he and I were throwing us around way back when he was here, and we were trying to get it. He's retired, but he's still active on campus. So I might want to get him. He teaches one class. Yeah, yeah, I might want to get involved. involved. Okay. He, he is. A he's super he's guy. gone in the summers. Okay. Yeah. So when he's here, maybe during yeah. the year, he yeah. would be interested. So when um, do you think you might have a next meeting? Um, I'm going to talk to the chair about it. And on you'll let us all know. Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. And I'll let you guys know. All right. I will send you our roster that we have so far so you yeah. don't have everybody's contact yeah if you have any other information you want to email me that would be great yeah. well 
by the time I get the information from Roger, uh, within a week or ten days, we should have some okay. proposals with costs and everything. That would be terrific. Yeah. Good. All right, and I thank everybody for being willing to meet and see you. if we can uh, move Roger, forward. Roger, we're going to make it happen this time. Yeah. yeah.